I'm Dave Collins with CleverHiker.com, and in this episode, we're going to take a look at lightweight shelter options. Shelter is going to be one of the most important things that you bring with you on the trail to keep you dry and safe at night. It's also going to be one of your largest weight savings items. Traditional shelters can easily weigh five to seven pounds, whereas ultralight shelters are around two pounds and sometimes get a lot lighter than that. Ultralight shelters reduce weight through simplicity of design and with high-tech waterproof material. When you're choosing a shelter, you're going to want to know what your priorities are between weight, cost, comfort, and flexibility. A double walled or freestanding tent is a pretty common option that most backpackers are familiar with. It uses poles as a frame to keep it standing upright and it has two walls. One layer is generally kind of the mesh inner layer and then you got a rain fly layer that goes on top to keep you dry. Freestanding tents tend to be easy to set up, they're comfortable to sleep in, keep the bad weather and bugs out, and you also have the option to leave the rain fly off on clear nights to have a nice view of the stars. The main downsides to a freestanding tent come in weight, cost, and volume. Freestanding means you're going to have extra weight in poles, and double walled means you're going to have extra weight in materials. They tend to be a little bit more expensive than other ultralight options. They can be a tight fit, and they're also going to weigh a little bit more. Unlike a double walled tent, a single walled tent only is going to have one layer, which combines the rain fly and a mesh surface for breathability. They're also going to reduce a little bit of weight through tent poles. They usually have a very minimal pole system and need to be staked down in order to stand up. Single walled tents tend to be very light. A lot of them are around two pounds and some get even less than that. They're pretty easy to set up, but they are going to take more practice than your typical freestanding tent. They're good in bad weather and to keep the bugs out, and some models even let you use trekking poles to set them up, which is going to help you save pole weight. Common downsides to single walled tents are, they might not breathe quite as much, the spaces can be a little bit tight, and you're not going to have the option to take off a rain fly to have a star-filled night. Another thing you should know about is condensation. On cold and wet nights, your breath can cause condensation on the inside of the tent. If you rub up against it, or if there's a strong wind that shakes your tent, you might get a little bit wet. Not generally a big deal, but something to know about. A tarp and bivy combination is another option that's extremely lightweight, and very common among ultralight hikers and through hikers. This tarp and bivy combination weighs less than 10 ounces. A tarp is gonna be used as your main shelter against wind and rain. A bivy bag is going to give you a little extra protection against the elements. A bivy bag is a small enclosed system that you sleep in at night. The top layer is generally water resistant and breathable to help from condensation forming, and the bottom layer is usually waterproof to help your sleeping bag from getting wet. Tarp and bivy options are very light and they can also be very flexible. In bad weather, you can pull them down low to the ground to give you extra protection. And in good weather, you can leave them open for airflow and views. In a rainstorm with a large group, you can set up a tarp to have a nice enclosed space for everybody to hang out. A tarp and bivy combo can be great for people who like to feel close to nature. There are some downsides to that too, though. You can sometimes get critters in your camp late at night, and you always want to make sure you bring bug protection if the mosquitoes are going to be bad. It can take some time to master setting up a tarp, and a bivy can be a somewhat small place to sleep. You're going to want to make sure you're careful with both because lightweight options can be somewhat fragile. Lightweight hammocks are another shelter option that's gaining in popularity. They work very similar to a tarp and bivy where you have a tarp that covers over the top of the hammock and the hammock creates your sleeping system. They can be cold at night, so make sure you still bring a pad to give yourself a little insulation, and they tend to be a little bit heavier than other ultralight options. For my personal recommendations, 
I like to take a freestanding tent when I'm on a more relaxed trip and I'm willing to carry a little bit of extra weight. I like a single wall tent for a good blend of comfort and lightweight backpacking. And if I really want to go ultra light, I'll take a bivy and a tarp combination. If I only had to pick one choice, I'd probably pick a single wall tent for its good blend between comfort, flexibility, and being really light. That should give you a great start on choosing the best lightweight shelter option for you. I'm Dave Collins for CleverHiker.com. Hike light, hike smart, and have fun.